lead code problem 853 car fleet. So this problem is a bit complicated where it gives us a target, the position of cars and the speed of each individual car, right? So uh, basically the, all the cars are in a, along a one lane road, right? And then, uh, yeah, this is a given two integer array. And what we are interested in is basically to see how many fleets there are, right? So what I mean by that is if you look at this example, right? So the car at position 10 and with speed 8, uh, with speed 2 and the car at 8 with speed 4, we will meet each other at 12, right? The target 12 because, right? Because uh, 10 plus 2 is 12, right? 8 plus 4 is 12, right? So be eventually they become a fleet. Right, so that's what it means by a fleet. So for this particular problem, I have one solution only, and it is to use a vector uh, instead of a stack. And how I did it was I first have a vector of uh, pairs, right? So this pair will basically hold the information of the position of the car and the information of the position of uh, the speed of the car, right? So you can see in this for loop, I will initialize this vector uh, to the position of the car and the speed of the car. After that, I sort the vector. So now my vector looks like this, right? It looks something like this, where it's sorted by the position, right? After that, I start from the, the back, basically, right? The one nearest to the target. And then I have a back, which is the, the most back of the car. So in this case, it will be uh, 10, 2, right? And then I have a top, right? So this top will be vector i1. So vector i1 is state 4. Uh, I guess you can call this front, not this way, back. Right, okay, so front, so the front of the car. Okay, after that, uh, we are basically gonna have to see whether the car in front, the time it takes to reach the target, whether or not it is lesser than the time it takes to, for the car behind it to reach the target or not. Right, so the way we do it is by subtracting the target with the position and then dividing it by its uh, speed, right? Then we get time. So what I mean by that is like, let's say for this run, right? So it'll be 12 minus 10. So we get two, a distance of two covered by speed of two. So we get uh, one time taken, right? So the unit is actually is, uh, one. For this one, it will be 12 minus 8, so we get 4, right? And then divide by 4 again, then we get 1 also, right? So in this case, since both of them will take the same time to reach the target, my for loop will just continue and replace top with the next, next, next pair, right? Which is 5 and 1. So it will be 12 minus 5, so we get 7. Divided by 1, then it will be 7. Right. So right now my front of the car is actually slower, uh, it's actually faster than the back of my car now. Right. Let me call it back. Right. It, it is actually faster because it, it takes a lesser time to reach the target, right? So in this case, I will replace the front car with the back car. Right. So it'll be like this. And then I'll increase the feet. So the feed uh, initialize to one first, but now since there's a plus plus, so now it's two, right? And then after that, I replace back with the next vector, which would be three three, right? 
three three and then if we do the maths it will be 12 minus 3 is 9 by 3 it is 3 right so our front car is slower than our back car so we just ignore and we replace the next one which is uh, 0 and 1 right so 0 and 1 will be 12 minus 0 is 12 divided by 1 it will be 12 right so in this case now the front car is faster than the back car now right so in this case the the, the fleet basically ended up right so uh, the front we replaced right the front we replaced and the fleet will increase to three right after increase uh, since i has already reached the end of the index right so it will just return the fleet number in this case would be three right uh, I think that's about it. Let's go through one more example. So let's say this one. Zero, two, four. So the speed is four to one, right? So after sorting it, it will be four one, two two, and then zero four, right? Remember we are sorting it by the position first or the the one closest to the target will be at the front right so the front would be 41 and the back would be 2 2 right target is 100 and the fleet is in there initialized to 1 so let's get counting okay so for this one uh, 100 minus 4 is 96 divided by 1 so this will take 96 time to reach the target and for this car it will be 98 divided by 2 it is uh, 49 I think yeah 49 so in this case the front car is uh, basically the time the time is more right it's more than the back car and since it is more we don't do anything so it will just uh, replace back with the new with, with the car uh, further behind, which in this case will be zero and four. And one hundred minus zero is one hundred divided by four. This will give us twenty five. And since the front car is still slower than the back car, so the fleet technically there, there is no fleet, right? All three cars are essentially essentially one fleet. So we just return this. Okay. That's all I have to show. Thanks.